Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to capture small and medium sized creatures within Soul Mask. So here you see me place down a small trap away from this parrot. Now it has to be somewhere where you do not want it to detect your sound. So what you want to do is just get close enough by pressing Q and it'll highlight the targets. Now you will have to have this ability unlocked. So once you've placed a small trap down, you want to go ahead and put some food in it. I put corn flour down for this particular animal. I didn't know if it was going to work, but it does. So you have to get hiding. And this will be a slow process, but it will start walking towards your trap. What you will have to do, though, is hide. If it line of sight to you, it'll get spooked and it'll run away. This works for turkeys as well, just putting down a small trap. But turkeys are a lot easier. You can actually just run up to the baby turkeys and place down a trap on top of them and it'll just slam shut. As you can see, this parrot eyeballed me. So I've moved out the way, kept quiet. And you can see it's now quite happy to continue and it continues moving towards the trap. And you'll see it snap shut and there you go. You've now got yourself a parrot or small creature. You can just go ahead and pick it up. The parrot that is. And then, once you've got that, you can dismantle or repair your trap. You'll have to take your parrot back to your base and you will have to put it on a parrot stand. Make sure you have this pre-crafted before you go and look for a parrot though, so you don't have to mess around. You will also have to put water in its bowl and feed in its dish for this parrot to stay alive. But when you capture a baby turkey, you will have to put it in a turkey pen. So you'll have to build a turkey pen first, and then just open this gate and then just place the baby turkey down on the inside. And you will have to fill up the food trough with poisonous bugs, locusts, corn seeds or turkey feed. But if you just press E on the actual turkey pen, it will tell you the available foods that you can feed the turkeys. Also, you'll have to feed, fill the water trough as well. And at the rear here, Eggs will automatically get placed in one basket, feathers in another, and dung in another. To capture capybaras or llamas or anything like that, you're going to need a medium-sized trap. So once you place the trap down, the same way as you place the small trap down for a turkey or a parrot, you've got to put food in it. Pumpkins work really well at capturing capybaras, for example, so you can actually start breeding these. So you place the trap down, put a pumpkin inside, for example, and the capybara, baby capybara that is, will start moving towards the cage. You do want to be hiding or you will spook it off like so. As you can see, it is now starting to head towards the trap as I'm hiding well enough away so it doesn't get spooked. Again, I'm pressing Q so it pings it so I can keep an eye on it in the area. And it is now heading into the trap. Now, once it's stood fully still and it's no longer moving forward or anything doing like that, and if you don't have a visual on the actual hatch, so you can't see if it's open or shut, it's a pretty good indication that you've caught it if it's no longer moving. So you just want to head in and collect it. Same way as you do when you're getting a turkey or a parrot, you just press A on it and you will collect it from the actual trap. So what you need to do with the capybara is you do need a capybara pen, first of all. And you will need to fill the troughs up with the available required foods. So this is all of the available required foods you can use to put in the capybara pen to feed them. Also, you'll need to water their trough. Now, these are a lot easier to breed than turkeys. Finding a male and female isn't too difficult for the capybaras. And they will breed a lot, as you can see. I only started off with two, and now I've got 12. Anyways, turkeys, on the other hand, are a little bit more difficult. I have never found a male turkey yet. So that's probably just pure unlucky on my part. But yeah, four turkeys generally give me more than enough for what I need. But capybaras, on the other hand, give you a lot of meat. So it's definitely recommended also give you a lot of feces as well. So you can create your fertilizers for your farms. 
Hope you found this short guide to taming and capturing animals in Soul Mask helpful. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see any other guide for coming up to the next test, which is in February, to help you get started. Thanks for watching, everybody.